Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to figure out how long the trip takes for Dylan, and then they want us to draw a position versus time graph for that. I like to draw a picture to understand conceptually what's going on. By simplifying things, it really helps to understand the concept better. So they say that Dylan is riding east. So we have north, south, east, and west. And they say he's going east, so we'll say this is a positive x direction. And he rides for 20 minutes at 15 miles per hour. So the delta t is 20 minutes. And the velocity is 15 miles per one hour. But it's also the exact same if we were to say 15 miles per 60 minutes because the hour and 60 minutes is the equivalent, so it's the same thing. Since we have the time in minutes here, we're just making all of our units agree, so things will cancel out appropriately. So they say he drives down this way, he stops and he hangs out for five minutes, and then he turns around and rides back the way he came, but there's a headwind, so he's going slower, so he comes back this way. And we don't know how long this section took, and we don't know how fast he was going. And they tell us that because of the headwind, his speed here is 10 miles per hour, or just like we did above, it's 10 miles per 60 minutes. So what we have up here at the top is we don't know how far he went. So what we're going to do to understand it like we were talking about is we need to figure out the distance that he went and then we'll use that down here to solve for the time. Now we'll have the time for this section, how long he stopped for and how long he's going here and we can just add them all together. So let's first write down the equation. Of course, we're gonna be using the velocity equation which is the delta x over delta time. And for the first section, we need to solve for the x. So let's multiply time over. So v times delta t is equal to delta x. And so for delta x, we have the velocity, which we said was 15 miles per 60 minutes. And then we're going to multiply that by the time, which we said was 20 minutes. So now you can see where we are talking about the minutes will cancel and we'll be left with just miles. So it's much easier. So now we have 15 divided by 60 multiplied by 20. So the distance that he went was five miles. So right here, he went five miles distance. So now remember that velocity is a vector. So there's a magnitude and a direction. So when he's turning around and going back, the delta x for the section here is a negative five miles now. And the velocity here will also be a negative 10 miles per hour or 10 miles per 60 minutes. So now for this section, we need to solve for the time. So we're gonna start off with what we just solved for on the other side. We have delta x is v times delta t, but we're trying to solve for this, so we'll isolate by moving v over. So delta t is equal to delta x divided by the velocity. So now we can plug everything in. So we know that he went a negative five miles And then he went a negative 10 miles per 60 minutes. And so now when we divide by a fraction, we are multiplying by the reciprocal, the miles will cancel and we'll be left with just minutes. So we have negative five divided by negative 10 divided by 60 and we have 30 was how long, because of the slower speed that he was going with the wind, it took him longer. 
So the first section, they told us that he went 20 minutes. He stopped for five minutes. And then we just found that the last section took him 30 minutes. And so if we add all these together, we have 25 plus 30. So we have 55 minutes for how long it took him. So now we need to draw a position versus time graph for part B. So we will have the Y axis is position and the X axis is time. So time is in minutes and the Y axis is the position, which is in miles. So he went, a total trip is five miles and the time is 55 we found so let's do uh tens so we go 10 20 30 40 50 and 60. and so we know that whenever he's starting off he's starting off at zero and then we found out that for the distance for the first part he went five miles and that took him 20 minutes, they said. So here's 10, 20. So at 20, he's at the five miles. And then they said he stopped for five minutes. So till the 25, he's right there. And then here he turns around and goes back and we'll assume a constant velocity for the 30 minutes until he goes back to where he started at the 30, 40, 50 that the whole trip took him 55 minutes. So from 25, we go 35, 45, and 55. So right here is where he stops. So now if we connect the lines, you can kind of see how the position versus time graph represents his velocity. The slope gives us the velocity here. There's no slope, meaning no velocity. And here, there is a steeper slope for the first section, meaning he was going faster and a less steep slope or a more shallow slope, meaning a slower velocity because it took him longer. So here is the position versus time graph. And then the whole trip for part A took him 55 minutes.